just a quick video in addition of my previous video where I explained the modification that I did on my U-Glider um, so I changed the prop and the spinner this video will just go about the prop that I that I changed uh, I didn't like the original prop and spinner why because it's it's plastic so it, um, it it can break easily and also the 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 prop the the quality it's really low quality plastic so it's not the the, the most efficient uh, prop that you can find um, one it's plastic secondly the attachment point between the two um, props is only 16 millimeter as you can see here so uh, this is not ideal as the prop cannot fold properly along the fuselage of the, the glider so the props will always remain a little bit open like this and this is not ideal so um, I've been looking for a, a different prop a different uh, spinner and a different prop so first of all uh, the difficulty for the, the, the to find a good spinner is the, the diameter um, of the, the motor shaft it's only two millimeter and I only find a one this one I bought it in France uh, I'll put uh, the link below secondly um, I changed the prop and I used this little uh, Grotner prop uh, six by three inches unfortunately uh, after on, uh, one of my first bench tests I burned the, the motor and I damaged the ESC so um, this is just too heavy because the new spinner you see the distance between the attachment point of the blades it went from 16 with the original prop to here 32 millimeter and so the, the, the bigger distance here and the bigger prop so this is the, the 6x3 this is the original one so here you can see the difference it's a big difference uh, the, tr the, the pull the thrust was really really hard with that one and it's just too much for that little little motor um, that wants to spin fast because it's a 3300 kV uh, motor so um, then I decided to go back to the, the original prop but I didn't like it because it, it's really it's cheap plastic so I want something better to have a, a better efficiency and then after a search I found this little prop um, here you have the reference uh, what it is it's a 4.7 by 2.3 inch um, the only problem for this prop is that the the diameter for the the bolts which attaches the the blade to the spinner uh, this bolt is two millimeter and the diameter for the the hole for the blade is only 1.6 millimeter so but uh, it's easy to enlarge it so it's just uh, you can just uh, redrill uh, redrill and, and redrill straight and doesn't give any problem that second problem with this blade is that the this spinner is made for a six millimeter prop and this one is only four but i solved this by adding just two small washers so i tested i bench tested the original prop um, the consumption and i compared it to this one this new one and um, this one the consum it's a little bit bigger consumption was uh, 10.5 amps and with this new little spinner uh, this new little prop um, it uh, came down to 8.5 but I couldn't feel any difference in thrust of course it's only measured by hand but I don't think there's a, a big difference in thrust so this combination new spinner original motor and this uh, prop um, allows me to climb three to four meter per second and um, give me a motor time with a battery of uh, 850 milliamps give me five to six minutes of battery of motor time and it allows me to fly about 25 minutes without um, thermals so uh, in good weather conditions will, uh, will allow us to have really to fly for a long 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 time I'll put uh, all the references of the the product here that I have the spinner and the the, the prop uh, below the video